bears, I am here today to give you a challenge, okay? We were talking about spiders for the last two weeks, and one of the things that got my attention was about the spider webs, okay? First, how can they capture the prey and also be flexible at the same time? And what they represent, because webs normally represent the connection between things, between animals and nature, us and uh, everything else, the water, the air. So I decided to give you a challenge. We're going to make our own spider web. So what can we do that is also flexible and at the same time hard enough to catch something? So I decided to do a slime. So today we're going to make a special slime together. But that's not the only activity, okay? There is a special challenge at the end. Because we were talking about spiders the whole time, about webs and connections. And I decided to give you this challenge. You're going to make your slime. Uh, if you want to keep something for yourself, you're going to make a big slime. And then uh, you're going to get a piece of the slime or the whole slime if you're feeling like you want to give it all. And you're going to choose someone that lives close to you, your neighbor, and you're going to give the slime as a gift to your neighbor to show the connection we have between the people around us, okay? And that's it. Make a beautiful slime, get the slime, and you can uh, also make a letter, you can make a drawing, and you can uh, draw why this person is important to you, and then you're going to give the slime as a gift, okay? Uh, ask your mom and your dad to help you with this, okay? You're not going to touch the person, especially now, uh, but you can put uh, close to their houses, or you can send them, and that's it. Let's make something beautiful, and let's connect everybody to Hello bears, now let's talk about what do you need. You're gonna need a glass bowl. I recommend the glass one or plastic because metals, they can mess with the chemicals here and then the slime won't be very wet, very nice. So to mix it up, you should use something that is plastic. I only have a knife, but you, you should use a spoon or a fork, okay? You're going to need a little glue, okay? I have special glue here. I just don't recommend kit, the kit glue we use here, uh, because it's very bad glue and normally this lime doesn't go very well. You're going to need sodium bicarbonate, okay? So that's it. If you want to use sodium bicarbonate, that is an alternative. If you don't want to use uh, boricated water, uh, let me explain something for you. Boricated water is not the same as borax, okay? I know mothers and fathers sometimes get worried about borax, but this is not the same. Borax is the concentrated solution, and this is only 3%. Okay, let me see if I can uh, get the focus here. This is only 3%, okay? So it's safe. Okay, don't, don't need to worry about that. But if you really don't want to use it, you can use the sodium bicarbonate. But the slime won't be so slimy. It's going to be more breakable. I'm going to show you how to do it. And you can use a uh, glitter. The only glitter I have here is a natural one. It's a mineral powder, but you can use any glitter you have at home. So now let's do the... Hi, now that you know everything about the ingredients, let's make slime, okay? I'm going to show you two slimes. The first one I'm going to use boricated water, okay, because the slime gets more slimier. Uh, so I'm going to put the glue, always add the glue first. So glue, okay. And then you're going to add the glitter because if you put the uh, boricated water first, the glitter and the glue won't mix it up. So let me show you how is it. How is this? Okay, that's the glue. Now I'm gonna add a little glitter. I have this uh, special glitter here. This is, oh, too much, but you can't have enough glitter. Now I add the glitter, as you can see, and I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna put it up so you can see it. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. So this is my glue with the glitter. Okay, now my glue is a little green. And now that's where the magic happens. I'm gonna add the boricated water. Uh, my tip, put little by little because you don't want the slime to be too firm, but you also don't want the slime to be too ill. Um, and you know that's ready when it starts to uh, separate from the bottom, okay? It's going to separate from the this the from this bowl. So you're going to be able to touch it. 
But before you touch it, make sure that's hard enough, otherwise your fingers are going to be all blood. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the boricated water, bit by bit, okay? So let's go. As you can see, it's starting to separate from the bowl, but it's still too gluey, so I'm going to add more boricated water. It's basically clean, but I think it's still too gluey, so I'm going to add a little more. So as it's almost done, I'm going to use my fingers now, no more knife, add a little more boricated water and use my fingers. And that's it. Let me show you how is the slime. Okay, this one is with the boricated water and take a look. That one is so slimy, it's so nice. If you want the slime harder, you can put more boricated water. If you want this, like this, very gluey, you can add less and that's how you make the slime, okay? Now the second part is you're gonna get the slime, put it in a, I don't know, maybe a plastic cup or something, make the letter and give this to someone. I am going to give this slime to an old lady that lives uh, close to my house. She's very lonely and I think the slime is going to make her very happy, okay? And that's what you have to think. Thank you for watching this. This is the first slime. I'm gonna make the second one without the boricated water, only with sodium bicarbonate and the glue, okay? Thank you, let me clean my hands, I'm so sorry. Okay, now that my hands are clean, we're ready for the slime number two that I'm going to use glue and sodium bicarbonate. And that's actually baking powder. So it's very easy to find uh, anywhere you go. This slime won't be so slimy, it's gonna be more breakable, but that's an alternative if you don't want to use, okay, the boricated water. So first you need the same bowl, the same plastic thing, the same glue. So let's start. Just added the glue here and then I'm going to add the sodium bicarbonate bit by bit. That's exactly the same reason we do it with the boricated water. We don't want the slime to be too hard or too soft. And let's go. If you want to add glitter, do it before the, so the, the bicarbonate, okay? Because after the glitter won't mix it up. That's it, I'm gonna show you the result. And I, this one I added a little bit too much of uh, bicarbonate and it's more like a, a Play-Doh than a slime now, but if you add a little bit less, the bicarbonate, you can have the slime. But this one is very nice too, it looks like a Play-Doh and you can use it. I can make a ball with it, you see? And that's how I finished the slime part. I'm gonna show you just before I go, the the one I'm going to give my neighbor as a gift. 
I put it in a cup, a plastic cup, you see, there's this line, okay? And I wrote, uh, to Maria with love, Anna, okay? To Maria with love, Anna, and I added many, many hearts. And now I'm gonna give this one to her as a gift. I hope you guys can share a little love as well. Thank you very much, little bears, and I hope to see you soon, and spread the love!